welcome to And So Much More. I am your host, Cami Smith, and I'm here with my friend Robin Moore from Human Resources. And uh, we're going to talk about emotional intelligence today. Um, how did you get into, so you teach a class on emotional intelligence. Yes, correct. How did you get into that? Uh, we had talked about adding that to our curriculum okay. for our leadership development as well as um, just across the organization. And so I did some research and found the training um, with the company called Talent Smart. Yes. And was able to go and spend a few days out in San Diego. Oh, wow. Uh, rough, yes. I know. Um, <laughs> getting certified to teach it. But I was really interested in it anyway, even okay. before we started talking about offering it as a training. So when it came up at that opportunity, I was very excited and very yeah. willing to volunteer to get certified to teach it. Love it. What has the reception been like here at Centra? It's been really great. Uh, we were we were a little nervous at first because it's more focused on the soft skills. And yeah. people don't always put a lot of faith in the soft skills. Um, when true. you deal with people who deal with scientific facts and health and biology, yeah. they're not oh, always big really fans of soft skills. that's a really good point. It's like a clinical. Skills. Yeah. Clinical yeah. world doesn't always live in the soft skill world. Mm -hmm. And so we've been very, very pleased with the, with the response uh, we get a lot of good feedback. People who yeah. come to the class, they're asking, um, can I send people to this class? Can you come do it for our can team? Can I send people? <laughs> we have someone who could really benefit. It could really be beneficial. <laughs> uh, but oh. it's been very, very good. And we've even talking now with um, some folks within the organization about maybe the possibility of it, offering it to maybe some of our providers, oh, I maybe love to our that. residents as they're coming on board. So it's it's taking root, if you will, and, and spreading. And people are really, really excited about the possibility. And, okay, I joke. It is not a negative thing to be sent to this emotional intelligence class. No. In fact, our entire office did it <laughs> and I was so excited. I just feel like um, pouring into yourself, developing yourself uh, mentally, emotionally as a person is so important, especially when you work with people at all. I mean, it's so important in your personal life. And Absolutely. so I feel like it's such a gift to be able to go through something like this um, and I also love like personality tests. I feel like I've taken every personality test that there is. Oh, those are the best. Yes. And so in this way, um, at least the way that this worked for me, and please you tell me, um, um, if I'm butchering this, <laughs> but we got a link and we took a test, mm -hmm. an online test. Um, and it measured very specific things that related to emotional intelligence. And Correct. What yes. were those things? Um, how you deal with situations, how you're able to recognize emotions in yourself, mm -hmm. in other people, how you how you can recognize the situation you're in. Basically, how can you read the room, the yeah. temperature of the room? Um, and the scores, when they come back, people, when they come to class, they're always a little hesitant because they're looking at me like, I failed. And yes. I'm like, it's well, not a, it's mine. not a, <laughs> and I'm I like, brought you're mine and I'm already like kind of keeping it close. Yes. Like <laughs> <laughs> and I always have to say, it's not a, it's not a test in the terms of your score determines yeah. how well or how bad you are at something. It's an indicator of how often you answered similar questions the same way. Yeah. Because I know when people take it, they're looking at me like, you asked the same question multiple times and there's a method yeah. to that yes, madness. I did. And it's, um, the great thing about the emotional intelligence assessment that you take is it tells you where you're at right now. Yeah. And then once you've taken the class, you get lots of great resources available to you to work on improving areas where you want to improve. Mm -hmm. um, it is the one part of our personality or our makeup that we can improve. Yeah. We can't change our, our IQ because it is what it is. It is, we, what it is. It's our capacity to learn. And our personality doesn't tend to change. We t basically are who we are. Yeah. We can adapt, we can adjust to situations as needed, but our emotional intelligence is the one factor that we can improve. We can yeah. get better at with practice, with purposeful practice. And mm -hmm. so, that's the great thing about the class is once you take the class, six months later, you get another assessment link to take the assessment again. Yes, that to was see quite insightful. <laughs> areas where you may have improved um, yes. from, your, from your first time. And it's just that knowledge about yourself, about social situations and how you deal with those. It's invaluable, especially in the world that yeah. we live in in healthcare, because you are dealing with so many different types of people and so many different types of emotions at various mm -hmm. times. It's really good to have that level of self-awareness to be able to say, this is a good day for me or it's a bad day for me or I know what I need to do yes. to adjust. Yes. There is such, um, I don't want to call it a trend, even though that's what it kind of feels like. There is a higher awareness and a higher importance really placed on um, like mental health and emotional health 
within um, just kind of communities that ours a growing one, but mm -hmm. you know, I feel like if you go online, like you can't be online and not see something about self awareness and Absolutely. and so you know what this has done, like for me personally, so identified self awareness is one of mm -hmm. my highest. Mm -hmm. scores, which is awesome. Yeah. But self-management was my lowest score. So yes. I'm very aware, but I don't do anything with it. <laughs> but that was so helpful mm -hmm. for me to take a step back um, and take a look at myself realistically and um, and some of the resources. I went through some of the resources that were provided and it did. It really raised that score for me, which was so interesting to see six months later. Yes. That the, the, there was there was an impact mm -hmm. here, yeah. Um, and so when I when I think about this for those who are watching this who maybe don't work at Centra and they don't have this as a resource necessarily, um, from what you've learned from this, like what what knowledge would you impart for the general public as it relates to the importance of um, emotional intelligence? Um, I think the the main thing is the self awareness piece. So many people. Um, can benefit from that. Um, some people think they're self-aware and they really aren't. Mm -hmm. So I would highly encourage people, if you have a chance to follow the Talent Smart page on Facebook or LinkedIn or read the book, Emotional Intelligence, yes. it's a huge it's a huge win. Um, it's a great way to, to sort of invest in yourself, pour into yourself. I yeah. think ever since COVID, as we were talking about earlier, we've all had to make changes. We've all had to readjust how yeah. we approach just our everyday life. And just having that knowledge about yourself, what triggers you, what makes you happy, what makes you sad, what yes. angers you, to be able to know and realize, oh, this is going down the wrong road, or this is gonna be a good day and I can help. Yeah. It just, that's the, that's the very first step, that self-awareness level. And it's interesting, self-awareness was also my highest. Was it really? I love and self-management was my lowest. <laughs> Maybe that's pretty common. <laughs> that's I don't right. know. It might be. But I would think <laughs> definitely, sober. yeah, the self-awareness is the, really the key. And so if if somebody's watching that's not a part of Centra and not available for this training, mm -hmm. I would definitely recommend the book, Emotional Intelligence. Yes, the book um, was great. It, it gets you started. It gives you that baseline. And it includes a link uh, that folks who buy the book, they can actually take the assessment online as oh, well. So there so, yeah. you go. Opportunity to actually be a part of it. Absolutely. Um, and then getting this, is the six months later then included if you take the initial test? Is that just part of it? Or is um, that maybe what Centra does? That's what Centra. That's with oh, ours okay. being, with me being a certified trainer, we're able to do that. But it is uh, with the book, you can, you know, for yourself or a loved one can take that just to give you that yeah. baseline of this is where I'm at. But then the book also walks you through ways to improve areas where you want to get better, yeah. how you can, different steps you can take, things you can do on a daily basis, practices you can put in place yeah. to help you. And it becomes part of, if it becomes part of your daily routine, you start building new neural pathways and your brain mm. literally starts to change. The more you practice it, the more That's you amazing. do it. Yeah, it does. And it, then it becomes part of your everyday behavior. Oh my gosh, I yeah. love it. So yeah. I um, follow a neuroscientist, her name is Dr. Caroline Leaf. I'm mm -hmm. not sure if you've heard of her, but mm -hmm. she talks a lot about, um, she calls them creating grooves in your brain mm -hmm. and re rewriting habits and yes. thought patterns. Um, and it aligns so closely now that you say that with so much of this work, because I think there is that mindset that people have that like people just don't change. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And on some level, you are who you are. Correct. But um, how you interact with other people. And I think even the more you understand yourself, it really opens you up to understand the people around you a little bit better. Absolutely. Um, and it can be a drastic difference mm -hmm. um, from, from point A to maybe point Z. <laughs> but, you know, over time, there's a difference that can be made. Um, I love that you talked about that time in COVID, because I think a big part of this, even for me and like developing emotional intelligence came in that COVID season because I was alone. Mm -hmm. So many people are never alone. Yes. And, and when you are alone and quiet for mm -hmm. prolonged periods of time, um, you start to ask those questions that you really just mentioned before. Like, how do I feel about this? You know, why am I angry? Yes. <laughs> why? Yes. Like questions. It's almost like the things that you do go and talk to a therapist. Like I love my therapist go to therapy. It's amazing. Um, but asking those questions yes. of yourself um, before you even get to the point where you can talk about, about that with someone else, I think is so important. Mm -hmm. A huge part about being self-aware. Um, 
And then you work on the self-management. Self-management piece, yes. <laughs> Which is a journey. Yes, it is. But then the relationship management is also part of the emotional intelligence. Yes. How you relate to other people, how you manage your emotions, how you react to and recognize their emotions. Mm -hmm. And I think we missed that piece in COVID because we were alone. And yeah. so now it's having it's to, after COVID, it was readjusting to be back in office settings or being around people where you're used to doing your own thing and now yeah. you have to readjust. And so it's another big part of the yeah. emotional intelligence piece. How do I manage this relationship? Mm -hmm. But also the social awareness when I'm back in a crowd of people or in an office setting to be able to read the room and, and understand yeah. if somebody's having a bad day, if somebody's, you know, struggling, can I help if I'm struggling? And yeah. it's just, it just all blends together. So so beautifully when it, really it all does. comes together. Yeah, it really does. Um, I think specifically, so with your role in HR and, and you are, do a lot of the orientation, you do all the orientation, all the orientation. Yes. And so um, having something like this available um, when you're switching roles, whether you're switching roles within an organization or if you're transitioning into a completely new organization, I think this could be so vital mm -hmm. because um you know, you carry along beliefs or even uh, behaviors and things that maybe weren't okay, but you were led to believe they were. And you, but you bring all that baggage into mm -hmm. your new place. Yeah. Um, and having something like this to help you pull that apart um, yes. and really label some things, I think, is invaluable. So thank you so much for the work that you do. Oh, well, you're it welcome. It was wonderful to go through the class. We were talking earlier and um, our whole team went through this class mm -hmm. last year, I yes. believe it was. And, um, and so we all did the tests and got the, the um, all of the, I don't know, what, what would you call all this? It was like a whole packet. There was the whole a packet. book and there yes. was this. And, um, but then I didn't get to go through the class with my team because I think I was on PTO or something. Mm -hmm. And, um, so I got to go through with some strangers <laughs> Um, but it was very cool because we were all in very different positions around the hospital. Mm -hmm. And I learned so much about really even Centra. Like yeah. I learned so much about these caregivers that I don't work with on a daily basis mm -hmm. who do very different work than I do, whether it be clinical or IT or, you know, yeah. all of the things. Um, and so it was very cool. It, it kind of brought some walls down mm -hmm. because um, it's very vulnerable to yes. talk about yourself. Um, but when you're doing it in the, in, in the safe space that you've created in this class where that's what you're coming to do, yes. it almost takes the heat off of the fact that you're sharing about yourself Yes, <laughs> because we're here, we're, we're, we're there to do that. Exactly. Um, exactly. So yeah, it was very cool. Have you enjoyed teaching the class? I mean, it's, it's, it was a blast. It is one of my favorite things that I teach. Um, yeah. It really is because it is so foundational and it's yeah. to see people go, Oh, uh, you see that aha moment, but it is. And that's one of the things in class that we stress lean into your discomfort and be open and honest and candid because we're all here for each other yeah. and this is a safe space. So you can talk about what's bothering you or, and I always tell, I always encourage my classes too. If you don't buy into it, let me know, push back on me. We'll have that conversation. Oh, that. So have you had many people? I really be like, what is this? I really haven't. They'll come in with that sort of attitude. Like, why am I here? And what is this? Yeah, and the yeah. soft skill stuff. But then by the end of the class, they're, 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 believers. they're believers. They're like, oh, wow, I didn't think about that. All of a sudden yeah. they're following you on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, they're like, connect, LinkedIn, connect. And I'm like, oh, sure. Um, I love it. But yeah, so it's, it's, it is. It's one of my favorite things that we offer to, to the organization. And so my hope going forward is that we're going to open it up to even more caregivers across the organization because it is such a valuable yeah. training and such a valuable knowledge to be able to take with you into your role, whatever it might be. Yeah. Well, it was extremely valuable to me. So thank you awesome. so much. Glad you enjoyed um, it. And those of you who are watching, if, if you haven't taken this class or if you don't work at Center, you don't have access to this class. Um, like she said, Talent Smart EQ, go find them on Instagram, go find them mm -hmm. on Facebook. There are some just great, I call them nuggets. Yes. <laughs> some great nuggets. Um, that are so applicable. Um, and then the book, if you get the book, there is a code in there for you to go ahead and take the test. Yes. Um, so Robin, thank you so much for coming on. Absolutely. Thank you for having I me. I enjoyed talking about awesome. it. Awesome. And thank you guys for joining us on and so much more.